All right, guys, this is my rodent breeding rack. I know I've showed it before, but I've never actually kind of gone through it. Um, up here, we just have a little box container. I was going to use a five-gallon bucket, but with the space that I have, it was just easier to use that. And that's got just a water system that goes down to little nipples on each one of them. Um, so I got five rows of these and there's two on each row and then down the bottom I have these big uh, kind of grow out tubs I have three groups of mice and I have one male to four females and that seems to be working out for me pretty well And then what I do basically is once the females get pregnant, I move them over to this side because I definitely have had um, the other females or even the males eat the babies. So I try to move them over and I definitely keep them in the same group. Otherwise, the other females will attack uh, a random female if I just throw her in there. I think I got, yeah, there's a mama and her babies back there. Uh, I don't think I have anything in these ones. Oh. This is an African sulfur. Um, she wasn't part of any of my breeding groups, but she ended up getting pregnant in one of the grow out bins, so I just stuck her in there. As you can see, she's pretty fat. She should be having babies in another day or two. And then I do have two groups of African sulfurs. Again, I still do one to four. I think I have, yeah, she just had babies the other day, I think like two days ago. I think I have another one up here that's an old litter. And then these are the grow outs that I have. These are all mice. Uh, these are the African sulfurs. Oh, let me get a flashlight. And then down the bottom, I buy rats and just stick them in here. Um, but sometimes the rats will grow up and end up having babies in here. And that's what happened with these ones. All these little ones are ones that uh, one of these females had. And then I have... Pardon the camera work jumping around. I have a broken foot, so I'm kind of just hopping here. Uh, there's another female in here. And she looks pretty pregnant to me. So she should probably be having babies in another day or two. She's pretty fat. But yeah, that's just the, uh, the rodents that I'm breeding right now.